In this real review of Cloud Squad that launches today, June 22nd, 2021, on Warrior Plus from I Am Review Squad, we're going to take a look at the product and talk about why you might need this and what are the problems that this app is actually going to solve for you as far as it's the future of cloud storage and it's going to replace Dropbox, Wistia, Amazon S3, and Google Drive with a single app. All new two-in-one cloud storage and Drive app helps you store, backup, share, and host files and videos. Advanced technology at unbeatable price. Pay once to store forever. So here's your exclusive and limited chance to avail Cloud Squad at lowest one-time cost. So here's the pitch and the pain points. Now store, backup, share, and host all your files and videos in just three clicks. Click one, ready, log in and copy your files. Simply drag and drop your files. Click two, set, store effortlessly our lightning speed and rock solid servers. You will now get more than 10 TB or terabytes of storage here. Click three, go view, share and host. Just one click to access and share all kinds of files with anyone you like from within your dashboard. You can also directly deliver content from the cloud on the website. Here they are, I am Review Squad. These are the people that you're going to be trusting with your files. And here again is more of their pitch. Comrades and struggles, fellow marketers, I invite you to follow my journey to put an end to your struggles instantly. The year that was. And they're pitching the fact that last year was a bad year. Of course, they're talking about the pandemic and everything that went on. The worst is yet to come. Money is more precious than ever. New concerns in the world. We could be storing our data on unreliable hard disks that just crash at any point. Or we're losing money, thousands of dollars, to expensive tools like Dropbox and Wistia. Thousands of dollars to expensive tools like Dropbox and Wistia. Or we resort to what seems cheaper and more reliable like Google Drive that is actually selling us out and leaking our valuable files to advertisers. Let's get the tough get going. Challenge one, losing all my money to cloud software that were charging me through the nose to store my files. This I want to address right here, right now. By first showing you my Amazon S3 account and how much I paid for storage for each of the last few months, 31 cents, 44 cents, and the forecast for this month is another 44 cents. Now I store all my files on Amazon S3 that I use in my business, as well as my membership sites, and I pay 31 cents and I'm forecasted to pay 44 cents this month in June, 2021. Amazon S3 pricing. If you go to their site and you look down at standard S3 pricing, you are going to see the first 50 terabytes of the month is priced at 0 0.023 cents per gigabyte. Then it jumps up to a crazy increase or actually a decrease for the next 450 terabytes per month at 0 0.022 per gigabyte. Amazon AWS provides you a pricing calculator to actually walk through and configure a cost estimate that fits your unique business or personal needs when you use AWS. If you're using more storage than 50 terabytes at the standard rate of 0 0.023 cents per gigabyte. And again, you can see here inside of my dashboard, last month, I paid 44 cents. Currently this month I've paid 31 cents and I'm estimated again to pay another 44 cents to store all of my files. From a trusted source of Amazon that I know is there to support me and my business. So carrying on, the sales page is gonna tell you about tedious research and development and how they built their own files and their servers. But my question is, how much money do you think this company, I Am Review Squad, has invested in anything other than the marketing to sell you this storage space, which most likely they're getting from Amazon S3 themselves because it's so dirt cheap and they're reselling it. And then they bring you to this. We were mind blown by our rapidly increasing numbers too. And they show you this month and last month, a screenshot from Warrior Plus, which is the platform they're selling this on. And if you don't know what this means or what this looks like, Inside of Warrior Plus, this is my dashboard. These are screenshots from sales that I make selling products on Warrior Plus. Again, the same marketplace that Cloud Squad is being sold to you on, which brings me up to another point. Cloud Squad, the future of cloud storage, is being sold to you here at a one-time price. So they're selling this to you at a low one-time price, saying the price is going to go up. 
Or if you scroll down the page, they're telling you here, get Cloud Squad for just, and they're saying $14, and that it is based upon the fact that there's no subscription fee and it's exclusive during a limited period offer. So to test this, because I don't know, because I've never purchased anything from I Am Review Squad, let's go back and take a look at a product that launched last month called Mail Squad, actually the first of this month, June 2021. This launched and they were saying you could get it for a limited time or for a limited time, you got a free inbuilt SMTP server and it was going to be included with the special offer if you purchased it today. It's usually $97. Today, only one time, you can get it for $27. You can see a countdown timer here. So let's go ahead, click to get instant access. And yes, you can get it for $27 over on Warrior Plus. If you scroll down to the frequently asked questions and you pay attention to what they're saying here, does Mail Squad cost a monthly fee? During our special period offer, you get Mail Squad at a one-time low cost. There is no recurring fee or success tax ever. So when does this special period end? Again, I'm not sure because it says here that the price is going to increase. They have a countdown timer. You can get it today for $27. And this is the JV page for Mail Squad where they're recruiting affiliates. And you can see the date here. Cart opens June 1st, 2021. Cart closes June 4th, 2021. But they never increased the price or they never changed it back to a monthly price. So if you go back to Mail Squad and you meet the team I Am Review Squad and you scroll down and they talk about the FAQ, what is the monthly cost of Cloud Squad? Nothing. You are one of the lucky few who has bought Cloud Squad while it is being offered at a low one-time cost. So you pay now and store for eternity. So that takes me to ask the question, how long is this storage going to be here based upon they're only taking one-time payments and they're not actually moving their products as you saw here on Mail Squad, it's still a one-time price after the cart closed, after the launch ended. It never went to a monthly price. So how are they going to support this long term? Obviously, Amazon, Amazon AWS has taken this into account. And at this day and age in 2021, basically everything runs on Amazon AWS servers and storage, most likely to include Cloud Squad. Now let's take a look at a, another piece of software. I don't use Wistia, but Vimeo is the equivalent of storage for video. Here's inside of my Vimeo account. You can see here I pay $240 a year. And currently you can see my upload quota of zero gigabytes for 20 gigabytes. And I can upgrade for seven terabytes with no weekly limits. But my weekly limit is going to reset on June 27th. And yes, I do have videos. I do use this in my business. You can see right here, I have videos inside of my account and I don't even scratch the surface. When you get to the actual pricing plans of Vimeo, you can see here I'm on the pro plan, which is 20 gigabytes per week, one terabyte per year, and I can have three team members access my content. Even then, if I needed to upgrade, I could go to business for $50 a month with no weekly limits and get five terabytes of total storage to include access from 10 team members. So over at Cloud Squad on the sales page, they're talking about replacing something that you know, something that you can trust from companies like Dropbox, Wistia, Amazon S3, and Google Drive with this one-time purchase that you're going to, or supposedly going to be able to get started with your journey at the lowest one-time cost and never have to worry about super high prices again. But it's just not the case. It's just simply not a problem that businesses have paying for services that they know and they can trust. Now, let's bring up a few other trust points. 100% protection of data with free end-to-end -end SSL encryption. What does that mean, end-to-end -end SSL encryption? So SSL encryption, or standard SSL, is available with 128-bit SSL or 256-bit SSL encryption, and it's readily available. Why am I talking about 128 bits and 256 bits, and why does that matter? It matters because after you purchase the front end of Cloud Squad, they're going to offer you an OTO or a one-time offer for enhanced security. They're going to offer you 264-bit encryption 
full file statistics, which apparently you don't get on the front end. So you can't see the visitors, your top refers. You don't have any statistics. You're going to get private and public folder options and enable watermarking on preview file as well as be able to password protect your file. So that means that the front end doesn't come with these levels of security. Now let's address this. 264-bit encryption. 264-bit encryption over at Google returns zero results. Over at the SSL store, they're going to talk about how strong 256-bit encryption is and the fact that 256-bit encryption is fairly standard in 2019. Again, this is 2021 when Cloud Squad is launching. And in the context of SSL and TLS, which again is security when you talk about securing web pages and transferring files, it most commonly refers to AES encryption where 256 bits really does mean 256. And at least for the time being, 256 bit encryption is still plenty strong. And the simple fact that you don't get the enhanced security options on the front end, but you have to pay an additional $47 to get security is a huge red flag for me and Cloud Squad. And the simple fact that they're just trying to approach you with a problem that you really don't have. You don't have a problem overpaying for cloud storage because cloud storage is dirt cheap as I showed you inside of my accounts. If you're making money in a real online business, this is not an issue. This is targeted at people that haven't made any money yet and thinking that this is a problem and thinking they need to future-proof their business by buying this at a one-time price and get hit with marketing such as what happened last year, the worst is yet to come, new concerns about how you need to protect your data and Google Drive is ripping you off because they're selling your data to advertisers. It's a simple fact that big time businesses like Amazon and Google offset the price of these types of things, storage that they sell to you with advertising. It's just the way of the world online and you don't have these challenges. You're not losing all your money to cloud software. There is no challenge of behind the back sharing of your precious data with advertisers by Sly platforms. There's really no restrictions around uploading or accessing or sharing your content with the people of your choice when you purchase Amazon cloud storage. And where do you think they're getting their storage? You're not gonna know. They could simply or easily be selling this or buying this and reselling this from Amazon. And then when they do something like this on the sales page, we were mind blown by our numbers rapidly increasing and they show you a screenshot of money being made on Warrior Plus. Again, the platform they're using to sell you this product and everyone else and all the other products that they're launching and most likely doing affiliate marketing. This is just a way to manipulate you into purchasing something that you honestly don't need because you don't have a real problem with overpaying for storage or getting ripped off by big corporations. And then again, they go back to your data is 100% protected. Your information safety is our primary concern, but they have an upsell that you have to purchase to get enhanced security. If it was such a concern, they would have baked this into the front end and then they hit you with a done for you service, how they're gonna move all your files over as if the drag and drop interface is not easy enough. Then they have an offer where they're gonna upsell you to their other products for a low one-time price. Then they're gonna offer you OTO4, which is an agency bundle where you can sell accounts up to 250 of them. And then they're gonna offer you a reseller option where you can resell Cloud Squad. And then they're gonna hit you with the white label that comes with unlimited storage where you can sell it as your own software. But here's the issue, where are they storing their files? And if they white label Cloud Squad to you, most likely they're using a white label themselves, or again, they're using Amazon S3, which the majority of the internet uses to store their data. As you can see, because the prices are dirt cheap, when you actually look at the storage pricing and look at these price points over 500 terabytes per month at 0 0.021 per gigabyte. So I'm not saying don't buy Cloud Squad, don't get a one-time storage, but do your due diligence. Look into if this is really a problem for you and if you can trust Cloud Squad and the people behind Cloud Squad to be here next year and the year after because you're trusting them with your data and they need to stick around for the long term. So ease into this slowly, test this, test their support, make sure they really have your back and check out their other products to see if the one-time prices are actually going to a monthly because there's no way that a company can continue to support you if they don't have recurring revenue of some kind to keep 
paying and maintaining support for support to you as well as supporting the operation of an actual business that is in the business of your data, keeping it safe and secure. If this video was helpful. Give it a thumbs up. 30 minute timer right here in the middle of the screen. Click that timer, subscribe to the channel. Check out the video here on the screen. Click that, watch it. I'll see you there and I'll talk to you later. Bye.